Good afternoon. How are we doing? Today's live is going to be great, juicy. I hope you all are doing amazing as you're coming on. Hashtag live if you are joining live or if you are joining the replay, hashtag replay. I'm Tanika Francis, self-concept mindset and manifestation coach who likes to teach other coaches the law of assumption principles. Today, I want to dive right into the wealth mindset and just what that means being in abundance and what it means to actually materialize money. And it's not what you think. If you are someone who is in the manifestation space and you want to materialize money and you've been going through this back and forth, I think this is going to be a live that's going to bring you a lot of clarity. At least that's what my goal is. And I'm just going to, let me just turn this down because sometimes my laptop acts out of order <laughs> for no reason. So um, yeah, before I dive into that, I do want to reference this book because I will be talking. Oh, it's kind of it's backwards, but it's this is the abundance book by John Randolph Price. And he has wow, had like I had this book sitting on my desk for at least four, five months before I actually opened it. And this is the number one book that has really gotten me to materialize my couple, actually more than one 10K month, months uh, last year. So I do want to just give praises to this, uh, this, this John guy, because I honestly, like aside from me just, you know, rerouting and realigning my beliefs to knowing that I am the one who is attracting this wealth and abundance and prosperity. Uh, this book has really been um, a game changer for me. So I'm going to share a few uh, just like excerpts from this book just so that you get a better understanding of how emotional wealth really materializes uh, money and um, 10K, 15K. And I really hope that it's more than 10K at this point that you want to materialize, especially in this year of 2024. It's the eight year. A lot of you have heard about the age of Aquarius and just what it means and that, that just, you know, what it really means for you. And, and I hope you've been able to get really clear on what it means for you. And uh, a lot of it, it, a lot of what you may be reflecting on or have been thinking about relates back to what your personal goals are. There's still desires, in my opinion, and you really want to get clear on what those uh, what those desires look like. So um, I do want to just share a little bit of announcements for those of you who may not have seen. I will be hosting a masterclass on the Law of Assumption this Saturday, January 6th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're interested in, if you are in this space and you've been, again, tuning into me for a long while, wanting to work with me, this is a seat in the, like this is a seat that you do not want to miss up or pass up. Um, we're going to be talking about the common mistakes and I did make a post about that on my page uh, yesterday about the common mistakes done by those of you who are wanting to materialize desire fast because, uh, uh, you know, a lot of us don't really pay attention to our emotional bodies and our nervous systems and our subconscious minds. And, uh, you know, that's just because a lot of us have been programmed and conditioned to be in this fight or flight, to be in this, um, you know, almost robotic mode and this logical thinking mode. But the way that you are actually going to materialize desire is through your feeling states. And the book references that as well. And so I, I cannot wait to get to that part because I know that a lot of what I mentioned is going to really drive what it is that you need to do next home in terms of of how you're going to want to start to feel and how you're going to want to start to um, create your environment so that you can start to feel this on an automatic, you know, just consistent, instant basis. So from my understanding, because I've, you know, read a lot, I've done a lot of the techniques, I've, I've gone through the, the process, so to speak. And I find that for me, what it feels like in order to, for me to, to materialize the money that I want on a monthly basis, what it feels like to me is, is relaxation to, to, to really just break it down into simple terms is it just feels like relaxation. And when I think about how I'm going to materialize desire, I really do feel like a 
aside from feeling relaxed, I am able to open myself up to multiple possibilities. And I always I always do my best to focus on the possibilities that I'm consciously unaware of. So for many of us, that this might look like, um, you know, an opportunity that is was always supposed to be meant for us, but you don't, you're not consciously aware of this opportunity until someone gives you a call, right? Or you're not open to this opportunity until you check your mail and you see a check in the mail for the amount of money that you wanted to 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 materialize. Or it might not look like an opportunity to you right now because that person who is in your inbox is is thinking about responding back to you, responding back to your post, responding back to your live video, and you don't know it until it actually occurs, right? So when I materialize desire, when I want to materialize 10K, 15K months, or when I have done that before, it's always... It's always um, it's always a thing where I have to remind myself that I already have it and whatever it is that I do have, it's going to reveal itself to me whenever it has to reveal itself to me. And even if it's on a time crunch, and this is the thing, even if it's on a time crunch and you want to materialize a 15K, 25K a month, again, it doesn't really matter what the dollar amount is. It just matters whether or not you actually believe it and i do want to get into that belief but let me just finish my thought is that you really want to open yourself up to knowing that these possibilities outside of conscious awareness are coming toward you to support your desire and this is all mostly subconscious right but when you do have the belief that you can have it, that you do have it at your disposal. And then, um, you know, later on when I speak about the book, it also talks about visualization and giving yourself the, the, the imaginal experience of already having this, this amount of money and even counting it out and, and allocating how you're going to experience it and allocating how, how you're going to celebrate and, and really intentionally focus on focusing on those senses those bodily senses that mean that this experience is real for you so you really want to bring this you know like kind of like etheric idea you know which is the uh, desire and and bring it down to 3d reality and that process is is quite simple again once you align your beliefs to knowing that this is this is purposeful this is true this is this is the reality that you want to start to experience. And so, and I want to just talk about the subconscious mind for a bit because the subconscious mind, even though it's, it, it doesn't always communicate to you in the best way possible. Hopefully I don't kick this. The, here you go. Okay. Um, even though it doesn't make everything in, uh, everything like consciously, uh, it, it doesn't show you all of its cards, right? Um, and even though it doesn't show you all of it, all of its cards, you the fact that you are already in a, an aligned belief, and this this belief is stored, and you'll know this because you have no resistance to to knowing that this desire and this reality and this experience is true for you. You you need to be able to trust that this is going to unfold in the way that it should. And I know that even though sometimes when you are in this manifestation space that you hear, again, the toxic positivity and you hear that you have to be 100% all in all the time and always be positive and always be in this, you know, high vibra vibration, you don't have to be in this high vibrational state every single time. I would say if I had to, if I had to make a correlation in my experience of of like let's say if i had to do a quick like let's say a ratio on how many times i doubted versus how many times that i knew that it was real for me it was probably between 20 and 30 percent every everybody is going to be different so this is why if you wanted to really materialize desire from emotional wealth emotional freedom um emotional intelligence but just like uh, i call it emotional wealth and giving yourself the emotional like experience of already having wealth this is what's going to allow you to to really materialize it from a space of already having versus from a space of okay well how is this going to happen and, and you don't want to mess with the how or the when or when is this going to happen or am I worthy enough? And it goes back to belief. If you have your beliefs in order, if you trust that this is a possibility for you and you are 
you are giving yourself your your imaginal experiences of already having this emotional experience like this emotional wealth experience it's all emotions it all go it all goes back to emotions and feeling states feeling states like intensified feeling states also materialize but you don't have to be in this in this you know again toxic positivity every single time uh you know i i've always you know i've always had my doubts even as i was materializing desire but you know what i i again drove it home to 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 make sure that i remembered you know that i remembered exactly who i was and what i was receiving especially in those moments where i had doubt especially in those moments where i had old story come up or old uh you know mentalities come up and and you have to know when those are coming up, right? And this is why I talk about emotional self-regulation is because if you want to get to a space where you are consistently, sustainably maintaining this emotional freedom and this emotional wealth, to me, like, there is no, um, there's no other way that you can sustain it without the stability. Like, that to me is like, okay, that, like, when you think of wealth or when I think of wealth, I think of, okay, freedom, yes, but I also think of, the highest level of of stability and so you want to be able to anchor into that and and emotional self-regulation and nervous system relaxation is going to be able to do that for you so um so so emotional self-regulation is a huge thing of course it is it is really the foundation that you have to lay down for yourself in order to move through the process the manifestation process that i talk about and you want to be able to move freely through your um through releasing your false beliefs through releasing the the mentalities through releasing all of your older thought patterns and old um self limitations and and the, the old behavior cycles you want to be aware of that whatever those are you want to um be very mindful of what the patterns are right and so you might be as, at a space right now where you are noticing the patterns that are, are no longer serving you you might notice that in a particular area of life uh, again i'm talking about wealth and abundance and prosperity and you tapping into knowing that you already have it so that it could start to materialize for you and you don't want it to ma just materialize once or twice you want it to materialize on a consistent basis and emotional self-regulation is going to do that for you it's going to allow you to not just one off have one off experiences where you do ex experience the the five the, or the 10k 15k month and then it doesn't happen again for another long while i was able to materialize uh out of out of the entire year two 10k at least two 10k months i still have to look at my bank statements but i could guarantee you that i was able to materialize two 10k months last year because of the foundation that i laid for myself over the past 12 months and by the past 12 months i mean really by the past eight months i would say that i i got really serious about my emotional self-regulation and my emotional wealth and my, my emotional freedom last year of um march so it was no i think it was april of 2023 and i said listen i i'm gonna go all in and you know a part of again knowing that you're going to go all in is making that a commitment to yourself by saying listen this is what I deserve. This is what I know that it's not even like this is what you know that you are worth. It's more like I know this is my human experience. Like I know that I was put here to experience my desire. And the more and more I, des I desire this, the more and more it's going to become real for me because I just know that there is no other way. And I know that this is law that the more i shift myself into my stability the more i shift myself into my expansion and i allow my subconscious mind to relax in the knowing that i get to experience this particular experience which is my only i would say my i was gonna say my only option but you could you could use your 10 or 15k month uh, desire as a baseline desire right you could use that as a baseline desire to say you know what i'm going to only subscribe and only engage in the feeling states that will allow me to to materialize above 10 and 15k months and however that wants to come into my experience i will allow it to and a lot of us again let me just tap right back into like you messing with the middle and how that is extremely sabotaging you in your journey is that when you mess with the how and the why and the where and the when 
you, you are you are not trusting you are this is the this is the quickest way to identify the fact that you are not trusting the process you are not aligned in your beliefs because again if you had it and this is the exact example that i'll give to you every single time you fall into doubt and old mentalities and false belief is that if you already had this thing in your hand you wouldn't have a need to to wonder and think of the how and the when you would already have it so the fact that you have all of these reasons and all these excuses as to why you do not have this thing and then conspiring as to reasons again why you haven't seen it yet in the physical reality is the opposite direction that you want to go in your manifestation process and you're not even regulated at that point so <laughs> when you ask yourself how when why where just know that you you do have more regulation work to do and until you really get again stable and anchored grounded in your regulation where you're not asking you're just allowing yourself to be and this is another thing is that as much as we want to be free we tend to 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 resist that freedom in in whatever situation in whatever circumstance for whatever reason it's almost like we are addicted to to the struggle in some sense hey reese thank you for joining babe i and i see this time and time again and i've been victim to it my my not victim to it but i've been guilty of that as well is that like we are so attached to this 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 addiction to to struggling and um you know this tug and pull and this resistance and we have gone through it for so long that we don't we can't really experience life outside of our current circumstances and our current false belief and our current conditioning and programming but if you want this be to become real for you <clears throat> you're really not going to stop at anything to make sure that this happens for you, right? This is your life experience. So you have to know that you are the, let's say, operant power. This is what, you know, Neville Goddard speaks on to knowing that this is your decision. This is your decision to make. And you have as much as, as much as we like to be empowered by knowing that we don't have any control, we actually have a lot of control. If not, we have more control than we were taught to have, than that we were taught to believe. So just like know that you have more control than you think around your entire life experience. And I know that not just for me and not just for you, like we, at a certain level don't want to take that responsibility and that accountability because it seems really heavy for us that we are not ready to take full responsibility and accountability for for our lives and then the uh, the lives of others right um i've always been like this where i've had this responsibility for not just myself my community my friendships um this is why i show up in the way that i do i've just always had this this responsibility that went beyond just you know being responsible for myself and what i can do of course you know this is a, a more of a self-development type of mentality i guess or mindset mindset and i never felt like oh well i have to push this responsibility off on someone else or i have to blame this person or i have to blame this institution or i have to blame this um this system because i don't get to have what i have it's, it feels much more empowering to know that you have the responsibility and really the the power and this is how what's really going to to shift for you is if you own that 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 empowerment to say wow i'm responsible for my life experience you can you can start to um evolve from a place of being empowered and start to really um shift your states a lot quicker with knowing that you are the operant power and knowing that you have so much power within um that will start to reflect back to you in your life experience because I'm going to get into this in the in the book. I'm going to start. I'm just going to end it right here because I'm already wanting to reference the book. So let me just get into the book quickly so that we have a better understanding of of not just the law. And, and to be honest, this book, the abundance book, it doesn't necessarily reference any universal law, but it, it ties into multiple universal laws. Um, this this book, I'm pretty sure, has brought up um, just in again indirectly has brought up at least i don't know like 10 universal laws i could be wrong it could be a whole lot more but um 
I do want to start with the first one and it, and it's just start this is on page 15 for those of you who even have this um, this copy um, I highly recommend that you grab this book if you are really wanting to materialize wealth any sort of 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 income or multiple streams of income um, streams of income from known and unknown sources like this is a reality for you especially if you are tapped into the aligned belief system that you are there is absolutely nothing and no one and no again just nothing that could stop you from materializing desire on a consistent basis definitely join my master class if you have any questions about this and you just want to have a uh, a more um, discussion based Q&A one-on-one uh, -on -one with me while we're live I would love love to have that discussion with you uh, just let me know either in the comment section here or send me a DM and I'll be glad to um, to make sure that your spot is reserved and that you also have access to the replay if you do not re register with me you unfortunately will not have access to the master class replay so definitely uh, make sure that you're on the the registry list um, to get that access so on page 15 it says the law and or the truth and the law and the first one says your outer world is your outer world of form and experience is a reflection of your inner world of thoughts and feelings as above so below as within so without as uh, this is the law. So this is the law that your inner world is going to reflect in the outer world, right? And it just goes back to emotional self-regulation, everything that I mentioned about emotional wealth and emotional freedom, freedom, giving yourself the imaginal experiences, giving yourself the desired feeling states. And we're going to talk more about the feeling states in later on in this book, but but it really it does tap into. I'm not just making this up, and this is why I'm referencing this book is because your feeling states is what really materializes desire it's it's and you could only get those feeling states automatically if you have your aligned your stored aligned belief system in order so if you have the belief that that 10k months are coming toward you or 15k 25k 50k months are coming toward you uh you are opening you're opening your subconscious mind up and this is inner imaginally to receiving this amount of money and and it's less about the money and it's more about what are the possibilities what are the avenues what are the channels what are the um the funnels that you will create either physically or or non-physically that will allow this this reality to be true and your subconscious mind is is really going to do the how and the when so this is really simple once you once you tap into it okay so i'm going to read this one more time because i did trip up on it so it says um the truth and the law your outer world of form and experience is a reflection of your inner world of thoughts and feelings as above so below as within so without this is the law right and so i'm going to go into my second point here and then i'll move on to the third one where's my third one where is it we're easy uh, okay one two i guess i didn't okay so i'll just flip through the other ones the other pages because i guess i didn't fold it for myself i'm pretty sure i did because i want to just leave it okay i'll make sure it's i know it's in here so the second one i'm just going to move on to the second one is the money is money is the symbol of an idea in infinite mind and this last one is is actually going to bring everything home is what i what i underlined here okay i think it's right here let me see it's a little longer but then this is really going to drive home my point is that and you know it might sound a little preachy because it does talk about god and an infinite source and infinite mind and really tapping into that universal consciousness um because us as humans we have a human consciousness just like the animals animals have a, a you know an animal consciousness so it's like it's like when you move up the it's not to say that we are better than hu um <clears throat> animals but it's like when you evolve past certain levels of consciousness you become more aware that you are just a part of all that you are part of source that you are just source energy and energy and everything is energy right so it comes it becomes less um subjective and more of an objective 
observation. So it says, um, so he just gets into the definition of, of money and what money means to him, right? And so I'm just going to read this entire paragraph. Um, it says, now look again at my definition of money, my own natural energy yield. The yield is the effect or the outer symbol of the inner supply, inner supply. While the cause is your God-given essence, the energy which underlies the outer manifestation, think of it this way. The spiritual definition of money is both cause and effect. So think about it as we are the cause, reality is the effect. Invisible and visible. So this is... 4D or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I would say it could be 4D, metaphysical, um, you know, consciously, um, you know, uh, quantum physics. Like it, it, it just gets into the non-physical versions of, of what money actually is. Consciousness and form, giver and gift. But we do not focus on money and form as our supply. Rather, we contemplate and recognize the energy of money which is our spiritual consciousness and we let the form appear i'm going to repeat that because that was good but we do not focus on money in form as our supply rather we contemplate and recognize the energy of money which is our spiritual consciousness and we let the form appear oh, that that's so good that is just so good please make sure that you have understanding on this point before moving on so even in the book even in this book the abundance book it talks about the process right and nailing down what you need to have before you move on to the next step right so I, I know this because I've, I've had my trials and errors. I had my ebbs and flows of, of what failed for me and what did not. And, and my success and really not just sharing my personal experience, but the, the experiences that I've had with, with my clients and them just, you know, getting off a call with me. And then all of a sudden this call comes in that they've always wanted or they get the message that they wanted or they get the email or they get this random money coming into them um my most recent um client testimonial was that she won a cruise just out of nowhere like she just got a cruise one of her family one of her family members i'm not sure if you could still hear me oh gosh one of her family members was gifted uh gifted her a cruise right and that came out of her imagination and more specifically her desire to be free right and so her feeling states of knowing that she is an absolute free abundant resourceful prosperous being allowed her to materialize this cruise that she's now going on this spring right and then it goes into controlled visualization. So I'm not sure who is in the live. I don't see anybody who's in the live. I would really like to know if you could hear me. If not, I'm probably going to hop off because I don't want to ramble if there is no more audio, okay? Um, but I do want to talk more about this in thorough detail this Saturday at at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be talking a lot about just uh, even if we had to, t we have to touch into wealth because I know that you know um, increasing monthly income, increasing increasing streams of income is is really big right now, and you want to start to place yourself in a and not just the belief but the feeling state of already having what it is that you want to materialize so on that note if you have not registered definitely send me a comment or flip me a dm to let me know that you are interested in joining the master class on the law of assumption this is law so once you tap in you know that for sure you're going to materialize your desires no matter what it almost is is a no-brainer because you know that once you really get into a space where you are emotionally free emotionally stable emotionally emotionally wealthy that these experiences are going to start to materialize for you it is law it is law so on that note i hope to hear from you and i look forward to seeing you on the next live cheers